Good morning. We're here with Herman Muller at the Lapalala uh, Nature Reserve. Um, we're in the den where the wild dogs are feeding at the moment, and Herman is the conservation officer for Lapalala and has been responsible for many of the uh, re releases. Herman, perhaps you can tell us a little about what Lapalala has been doing. Um, Ken, over the last four or five years, um, Lapalala has gone through quite a, uh, an amazing uh, development uh, process. And uh, a major part of that was reintroducing uh, a number of species which historically occurred in the Waterberg. Um, which was the first one you brought in? The first uh, major species that we brought in were actually elephant, which we started bringing in in 2018 in uh, March, April of that year. We brought in two breeding herds from, uh, from the Makalali private game reserve in the low felt and then we brought in some, some mature bulls from the Marakele National Park which is in, or, you know, in the south of the Waterberg. After the elephant it was mostly about predators so we started off with, uh, with some cheetah and lion um, we brought in in total about eight cheetah from various uh, game reserves over South Africa and then we also brought in some some lion, two prides that came from uh, from mm -hmm. a reserve in uh, in uh, in the Kalari. Yeah. And that was followed by some spotted hyena that we reintroduced also from the low felt. And tell me, how have the animals done since you brought them in? What's the process? E exceptionally you well. Um, we we start off when we reintroduce animals. They come into this facility here, the the, the bomas, and they they spend about eight weeks in the bomas, and that's just to settle them in after the relocation, uh, for them to 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 get used to the new environment, um, to to. Uh, uh, recover after the, the capture and the relocation process and for us to make sure that the animals are ready to to, uh, to establish on the reserve um, and it's gone exceptionally well there's been some some uh, some stumbling blocks along the way but all in all it, 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 it was a very successful uh, process and roan antelope is something else that you've been very responsible for reintroducing into the, the water boat. Tell us a little yes. about the roan antelope. Uh, the roan antelope was a, a species that historically occurred naturally in the Waterberg up until the early 90s. Uh, there was still some uh, free roaming roan on La Palala. And uh, eight years ago, we started a program where we, in, in, in managed uh, in a managed environment uh, breeding up numbers of roan antelope and uh, we we got to the point uh, at the end of last year where we had built the numbers up to a sufficient uh, level where we started reintroducing them onto the reserve and we currently have a, a free roaming population on the reserve of close to 100 roan antelope. As many as that? Yeah. Wow, that's a tremendous story. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's early days, they still need to adapt to, to the environment, um, you know, coming from a, from a camp facility or, or system where they were fed, you know, there's so you'd expect some, some losses initially, but we're hoping that uh, that there'll be enough of a, a core population that manages to adapt and, and hopefully thrive going forward on the reserve. Herman? Tell our viewers uh, a little about the size of La Palala and how uh, free the animals are to roam around, uh, what sort of area they can cover and how you protect them. Uh, La Palala is currently the main reserve is, uh, is about 42 odd thousand hectares but there's still some properties in the north that we are in the process of adding on so the total size um, in, in the near future will be close to 48,000 hectares, uh, so that's about 480 square kilometers. Um, and so that's a fairly vast area for these animals to roam. Um, in terms of, of protection of the animals, we've got, uh, we've got monitors that, that are, are checking up on certain species on a daily basis, checking on, on condition of these animals so that if there are any problems, uh, we know of it early enough, hopefully, to, to, uh, to intervene when necessary. And then from a security point of view, we also have a, a well-established um, 
uh, security uh, unit that uh, that patrols the reserve and and uh, and protects it from the human element. Well, wonderful. I think you guys are doing a wonderful job here and uh, you're a huge credit to the Waterberg. Well done on, on the work you're doing and we wish you every success for the future. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it.